All right, so our top story at this hour, South Africa has recorded 1,182 full fatalities on the country's roads over the festive season. Transport Minister Cindy Siwa Chikunga says this represents a 2.3% decline compared to the same period of the previous year. Chikunga made these statistics public at the press briefing earlier on. Now, she attributes the decline in the number of fatalities to the intensified law operations conducted and the high police visibility throughout the country. Most crashes took place between 7 in the afternoon in the evening and 10 in the evening, with a peak between 8 in the evening and 9 in the evening. Most fatalities were also recorded on Sundays, which is a new trend. Human factors contributed 80.8% of the crashes, environmental factors contributed 10.4% as a result of heavy rainfall and storms that had a big impact on the road on road use whereas the vehicle factors contributed 8.8% 40.9% of those who died were pedestrians passengers accounted for 33.6% drivers accounted for 24.6% and cyclists accounted for 0.8 percent. It will be noted very sadly that the majority of those who died were between the ages of 25 and 44. And I can tell you that these in the main will have been young boys. Ladies and gentlemen, the number of fatal crashes experienced over the 2023-2024 festive period, that is fatal crashes, is 1,184, which represents a 2.3% decline compared to 2022-2023 festive season when 1,212 crashes were recorded. This decline was made possible by the intensified law enforcement operations conducted and the high police visibility throughout the country. More than 1.4 million vehicles were stopped and checked in the period under review, with 7,820 drivers arrested for, among others, driving under the influence of alcohol, inconsiderate and reckless driving, producing false documentation, and excessive speeding.